Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we actually have something unique to talk about. Um, this was something I saw online uh, on Twitter a couple days ago. And I think the person who posted it was called Sunny Arcade, at Sunny Arcade. Uh, but Arcade was spelled with a K, A-R-K-A-D-E. Uh, so Sunny Arcade, uh, also known as Non-Essential, I think is their, their actual profile name. But they posted this picture, or like a little video, of this worm, this bootlace worm is what it's called, and it's uh, it's on a rock, and they're you know they're kind of moving it around, they're like picking at it with like an axe or something, and it's kind of shifting, and it looks very symbiote-like, right? A lot of people were showing the pictures of uh, Jared Bankins from the first Venom movie, where the symbiote was going up his chest and you know into his mouth. Um, a lot of people were showing that image to kind of show the comparison, and I thought that was really good because. Uh, yeah, this bootlace worm thing, uh, it's its pretty neat. After I saw the post, I started doing a little bit of research on it. And then a couple other people wrote me like, hey, did you hear about the bootlace worm? And, you know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've just been reading about it. It's crazy looking. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, talk a little bit about uh, this thing because, it, yeah, it's not a real life symbiote, but it does look it, right? Like uh, these things can get very big. I think the longest one in history recorded so far was like 55 meters, which is, I don't know, something like 100 and like what, 50 or 80 feet or something like that. Um, but what they do is like it's a worm, but it, it kind of moves in on itself and overlaps on itself and, and kind of forms that mass that you see. Um, so it's actually just one long worm. And uh, but I think it, on average, it's maybe it's like a couple meters, you know, on average. The, the ones like this one is pretty average size. Uh, so, yeah, it's just kind of this one giant worm that's overlay, you know, overlapping itself. Uh, but it also when people are like, oh, what about the it looks wet and it looks like um like a, like you know gooey and stuff it's because it, it releases like toxins and and like uh and like at like poison i guess uh to fend off attackers so it's a good thing these guys were you know poking at it with an axe because if they touch it with their hand there something really bad could happen um they could get some kind of poison on their hand or in their skin if they have an open wound um and then also like it it smells like sewage uh so these things like when when it releases this toxin this it's like a it's you know it's it's trying to ward off you know prey so if something's coming up to maybe try to eat it it'll release this thing that makes it smell like raw sewage and smell really bad and most things won't find that appetizing but in case something still is like you know what i don't care how it smells i'm going to try to eat it anyway then comes the the goo and the poison uh so yeah this thing is creepy uh it's it's really interesting looking it's a it's a it's a neat thing to look up when you go look at the wikipedia and stuff there's not much there there's like a couple paragraphs that shows like the latin name for it and a couple other things talks about the longest you know version of it in history um but uh but you know other than that it's like there's not a ton of information on it they're mostly uh, on the like coasts of like britain in that area sometimes in scotland i think in sweden is like some of the other reported uh places that they've seen these things but, uh, but for the most part, it's kind of you know centered in that, or it's kind of focused in that area of the world. And so I doubt we'll see something like that here in America or, or anything like that for, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe one day, uh, maybe enough of these things will, you know, spread out. Maybe they'll, you know, they'll attack us all and become actual symbiotes. Uh, but, uh, but I thought this was just fun to just do a fun little episode on something really quick and uh, to get your thoughts on, because I know some of you guys have already reached out to me on it, but I'd love to hear if, now that you know, if you haven't known it's a bootlace worm and you haven't known information about it, you know, I'll put the link to the wikipedia down below if you want to check out uh you know a little bit more information and then also i think i found a, an article on uh what was it uh was it comic no it's msn i think so uh or indie 100 something like that so yeah msn's uh, site so i'll put a link to this down below as well so that way you guys can check out what this article said about it and then also some news you know about it from the wikipedia like some information so uh yeah i just wanted to bring it to your attention and do a really quick episode after doing that really long episode uh, that we just, we just did where i got a little emotional uh because of the storyline we were talking about uh but we do have more comic book stuff coming up we have spider island that's probably going to be another long episode and then uh we'll try to do a couple more other little things i got spectacular spider-man as the next cartoon we're going to discuss and i'm going to try to get through that one and then i think uh one more cartoon episode after that and then we'll be caught up uh for you know the new maximum venom cartoon so that'll be uh, coming up here on the channel very soon too so if you want venom news uh you know i know we don't have a lot of movie news right now but we have comic books to look at we got cartoons coming up that we're going to be reviewing we got real life symbiotes we're going to keep our eyes eyes on uh we got a lot of stuff that we cover on this channel that are venom related so if you're into that make sure you like and subscribe and always leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this episode thanks so much see you in the future peace